people are saying this is the the big four right here this is apparently the big four the underground mount rushmore for 2024 and obviously this is bob lamb's post and we got um laser dim 700 osama sun netspend and ian and uh, yeah all these guys are literally been killing it i i can't i can't even lie they've all been all been pretty much killing it let's start off with laser dim i listened to his most recent project what's it called again enjoy okay he's been blowing up all over twitter social media and i'm like yo what is this absolute dumpster juice garbage it's just it's just so bad that was my first opinion on it i was just like it sounds like he's offbeat sounds like he's rapping on but on a potato or through a potato and yeah he, literally the the beat is chasing him <laughs> that's how offbeat he is and then i, I checked out the project enjoy and i was like He's actually saying some shit. He's got some cool little punchlines. Um, I'm getting used to the offbeat flow. It's not bad. Some of the songs are liked, but the more I played it on my speakers and listened to it with some of the homies, I'm like realizing it's like, yo, I'm I'm literally forcing myself to like this for for some odd reason. I kind of came to the conclusion that Laser Dem's just absolute trash. This is absolutely garbage. But like his his personality wise is pretty pretty fire he's you know his, his story is pretty dope but uh, i don't know I, I just i'm just not feeling it and i think his whole appeal is pretty much him being offbeat him rapping on his phone off band lab through apple airpods or something like I, I just i just don't think he's good i just i just i tried to listen to his music and i just don't think it's good as as much as as much as the hype is on him, I just don't think he makes good music. Like, I, I just don't really think he does. But uh, respect to him because he's, he's killing it. But like I was saying, I think his, his full appeal is his struggle, his, his image, and the way he raps offbeat with terrible mixing. And I think once he gets really good mixing, it's probably just not going to hit hard for everybody anymore. He literally sounds like Young Nudie, too, if it was terribly mixed and offbeat. The next we have um, Osama Sun, Osama Sun like this guy. When I first heard Osama Sun, I really didn't like his music. I thought he was like a Ken Carson clone. You know what I mean? He, he sounded like a Ken Carson clone. I made a video absolutely roasting him because I didn't like the I didn't like his music, and everybody in the comments just ended up roasting me back because because of Osama Sun. So I checked out his music a little bit more, and it started to click with me. The thing about his music as well, and a lot of the new underground artists, is just their mixing and engineering is just so bad. It's just heavily, heavily distorted. Like the vocals, the 808, the beat is just super distorted. It's, it's fun to listen to if you're like bumping in the whip and stuff like that. But even now, like even like some of the speakers just can't take it and the headphones can't take it. Like his song X and Sex goes really hard. V goes hard, little O. Once you kind of get used to his his sound, you, you kind of like appreciate like what he's doing in his pockets and just his high energy flows and stuff like that. But like Flex Flex Music, Flextra, I guess, the deluxe version. It's definitely one of my favorites this year. You have to kind of like ease into his music, I noticed, just because it's very distorted and very different compared to other mixes. Like engineering wise compared to other artists, but like the song Cartel Goes Hard, Rehab, Need It, A Lot, Flexer. Flexer just slaps in the whip like i love his i love his flow in him freestyle i didn't like as much blonde that beat is really hard baghdad goes hard hard all style for the flex worst part nothing gotta be one of my favorites up there just reminds me of uzi or a melodic ken carson song and people hate when you compare him to ken carson pop has a really good beat on it really good beat sample talking to a ghost is him trying to do the more mainstream pop influence is almost like a pop punk cardi influence hard rock influence type song with some drum and bass drums to it i like it i like it yeah overall osama sounds one of my favorites in the, the underground for sure for sure took me a while to get used to it but for sure he's up there next we got is net spin this guy is the youngest guy on the list right here i think he's 
17 or 16, super young. He's born in 2007. He blew up from the song Drink Drank off of um, Twitter. You know, people were absolutely roasting the snippet. It sounded very bad, I'm not going to lie, but I think he must have been signed at the point because he was getting promoted all over Twitter of him being, of him just being hated. His most recent song, Nothing Like You, is really good, really good. It's like it's like one of the only songs I downloaded by him, other than Shine and Peace, which is probably his second biggest song to, to blow up, and this is right after the drank, drank snippet on Twitter kind of went up. But uh, I, I definitely respect Net, Net Spend. He's... He's he has a lot of work to do developing a sound, but I think his image is there. It kind of reminds me of The Witcher, you know, just kind of the the same lighting effects and everything like that. Like especially this, like he looks like uh, if the the main character of The Witcher's son or something like that. But nothing like you is really really good, really good. Like the video is incredible. The sample, it's it's really good. Like he has so much hope, like a promising career for sure. I, and I think he's definitely kind of the, the forefather of the, the new jerk genre movement for rap right now. Right behind Xavier So Based. Except Xavier So Based, he just makes garbage music. He has the image, though, and he has the, the cult fan base. 2024 Freestyle was really good as well. I didn't necessarily like the mixing on it, but most of Nesman's early songs, kind of like I said about Osama Sun and Laser Dim, the mixing just is just not there. And engineering but nothing like you i think this is like his debut debut single for his new project and him signing to rolling loud the, his vocals and the mix are very good so he is he is some promising hope in my opinion definitely promising and the last person on the list who's probably my second favorite behind osama son or maybe even more he only has three songs out right now and that's ian 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 goes hard. I don't know why this screen isn't loading. But yeah, Ian goes hard. He has three songs out right now. He's considered an industry plant. Uh, he has the song Figure It Out, Grand Slam, and I can't put my finger on the last one. But everybody kind of exposed him as being an industry plant, being signed to the same artist as Four Bats, who's also an industry plant, did the same management. Kind of just came out of nowhere off of Twitter promo, and it turned out he was signed to a management deal and yeah like he he has the straight up the image he has the i guess quote unquote charisma pause he has he just makes good music and people say that he's similar to yeet and i can see those aspects being pretty true you know like he has raps over kind of similar beats kind of the same different pocket but i'd almost say he has better bars than yeet at times like he's a little bit more clever with it he does use a lot of autotune, but he doesn't sound like he's drugged out as as he was when he was, you know, kind of coming up to the coming up through the underground. So I think Ian, like, if I were to choose the four that I, th if I were to choose who I think is gonna probably be the biggest out of the four, I would probably say Ian. I would say Ness spends a close second because he has the image and he's a little bit younger than Ian, but Ian can rap. Like he can actually like spit some bars. And he's a little bit older. He has the image down pat. Same with Nesben. But I think Ian's going to be the bigger artist. Third, I would say Osama Sun. He has potential. Like, you know, the song, like, Talking to a Ghost really just proves that he can make some pop shit. You know what I mean? And nothing can prove he can make some, you know, kind of emotional, hardcore trap. You know what I mean? And Ken Carson already paved the way for Osama Sun to potentially go mainstream. Because, you know, Ken Carson sold 49k first week. So Osama Sun's ceiling is decently high. But I think Ian's ceiling is going to be the, the highest just because he kind of reminds me of Jack Harlow and a little bit of Yeet. In Yeet's peak, he sold 72k first week. And Jack Harlow has had a number one song, Loving On Me, at one point for, I think, three weeks in a row. And his highest first week, highest first week sales are over 100k. Laser Dim... I think he'll get like a decent buzz. I think he'll make it like a billboard hit, one or two. And I think he has potential. He could pass Young Nudie in sales, but I don't see him being bigger than, than these three. You know what I mean? But that's the, the underground Mount Rushmore of 2024 right now, you know? I would like to say, I think Molly Santana and um, Hard Rock and Tana have potential to be mainstream as well. Tana, definitely. 
Molly Santana as well, you know? But I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens.